Water ski teams from all over the world hit the waves in Janesville this weekend, competing to win the title of best water ski show team in the world. But the teams were not the only ones who took home a prize. The city of Janesville walked away a winner as well. In News 3's Valina Jones was at the two-day two competition and has yeah. a little more for us. Yeah, big weekend for Janesville. Yeah. And to host the world tournament is a huge benefit for the city, bringing in around 13,500 people in two days. The event not only puts the city on the map as a water skiing destination, but also brings a huge economic boost to the area. This is the epitome of water ski show tournaments. Two days of water skiing competition, five teams representing different countries and thousands of onlookers transformed the city of Janesville into a tourist destination overnight. It's what you work all year long for. It's what you practice for. It's what you're creative enough about uh, to bring your show and compete against other countries. It's the second time Janesville has hosted the World Water Ski Tournament. And no matter how far teams had to travel to get here, the waves did not disappoint. This is the premier for show skiing facility in the world. So we don't have facilities anything like this in Australia. So it's very enjoyable to come here and, and ski with the best show skiers in the world. Show skiing, you know, it's a small community and, and it really shows that it's a big community down here in Janesville when this event is on. Just like the city it's hosted in, the tournament continues to look for ways to attract a bigger audience. It's really important that these events feed the businesses that are already in the downtown and create that real sharing of economic impact. But with an estimated 12,000 cheering fans and around a $4 million profit, the competition brings a hefty reward for the city. People will come in a week, a week and a half ahead of time to get ready for the event and they tend to spend more while they're here. They'll do more shopping because they want more items from the community that they're really in. And now Team USA took home the first place title followed by Australia and Canada in second and third place that the competition wrapped up today. So. Got it. Uh, Valina Jones will be on next year's USA team. We should expect <laughs> her to strap on those. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't think I'm that no. skilled. Okay. No, no. All right. We'll leave it to the pros then. Thanks so much Absolutely. for that story tonight, Valina. <laughs>